uh, basically a side pet let's say besides the two ones that you have on the ground you're going to have one that flies uh, with the fairy let's say uh, you're going to have dungeons over here daily dungeons definitely use the use the tickets over here daily the game is not that hard with a lot a lot of events that you're going to get rewards from and you're going to be able to do a lot a lot of summons because you do need to do a lot of summons Welcome to Idling TV and we're going to check out Pinocchio Hero, an idle RPG. This is going to be an interesting, interesting game. So this is going to be your offline reward, definitely if you're going to watch an ad, you're going to be able to get additional 50%. Watch that ad, it's really important. So remember, it's a Pinocchio game, okay? So cut that long nose because this guy lies a lot and his nose grows. But don't forget, if you're going to cut it, you're going to get wood and you're going to use that wood in additional, additional things. So let's start. You're going to have these stats over here. Definitely use the golden coin that you're going to gather in order for you to be able to increase the attack, the HP and other things. You're also going to be able to use some leaves over here if you have played enough. So definitely use these leaves over here in order for you to have additional additional benefits and you're going to have the awakening part. Also over here you're going to use different kind of other resources and also you're going to have the artifact pack over here. Now these ones you can summon in order for you to get additional additional benefits. Similar things like in most of those idle RPGs, not so complicated. Besides that you're going to have weapons. Now keep in mind this guy uh, is able to have two different type of weapons and is going to have different kind of skills for each specific weapon so if you're going to have uh, the possibility to summon more and more weapons definitely upgrade them then select best and it will apply the best weapons that you have and it will try to do its best eventually you're going to have even a fairy that helps you don't forget about the shield part over here upgrade them and obviously put the best shield that you can and you're going to have the parry part over here as I mentioned. This one you will not unlock it so fast, so bear with it. Also, you're going to have the skills as I just mentioned. You're going to have different kind of set effects over here. Uh, you're going to have fire, ice, nature and earth. So watch out for that. Also, you can equip the best skills and the slots are going to unlock depending on how further you're going to go in uh, this game with the level part. Uh, besides that, you're going to have the costumes over here. Uh, if you're going to play even more and even more, you're going to unlock new and new things, basically new and new skins for this uh, uh, Pinocchio over here. Also additional things that you can upgrade for your companions because also you're going to have a companion over here, uh, basically a side pet, let's say. Besides the two ones that you have on the ground, you're going to have one that flies uh, with the fairy let's say uh, you're going to have dungeons over here daily dungeons definitely use the use the tickets over here daily uh, you can watch ads in order for you to get additional tickets so try to do that as well try to jump into these dungeons uh, don't forget to cut his nose every once in a while don't forget to follow the main quests uh, you will have some quests that you need to complete in order for you to also unlock new and new additional things so that would be the best thing for you to do whenever you're going to start this game until you're going to figure out different kind of things over here in this game so try to complete the quest uh, try to uh, watch ads in order for you to get additional uh, uh, boosts additional bonus because you're going to encounter some hard bosses over here and it's not going to be easy you're just going to need to try to do your best and try to move forward okay i'm going to go back to the lobby over here uh, different kind of dungeons as i just mentioned you're just going to need to try to do uh, the best thing that you can also different kind of challenges with big 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 monsters over here uh, for example this dragon over here let me show you uh, you can uh, click the auto dungeon mode uh, it will go forward and forward if it can so if your uh, uh, puppet over here is strong enough you're going to be able to go to the next zone next zone and so on similar things the graphic i really like it it's cartoony but it's really, really nice so give this other rpg a try because this game is really really interesting definitely a different kind of idea although it has the same similarities the same dungeons the same resources the same 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 things definitely the graphic of it it kind of caught my attention so give this game a try but if you have played it and went further drop a comment let me know how far did you went and don't forget that if you will subscribe you will find daily over here a new idle game 
and eventually you will find the one that you like not that hard of a game a lot a lot of missions that you can complete over here a lot a lot of weekly quests like in most of those other rpgs and different kind of other rewards that you're going to get over here okay the game is not that hard with a lot a lot of events that you're going to get rewards from and you're going to be able to do a lot a lot of summons because you do need to do a lot of summons regarding the equipment you're going to have the possibility to do summons regarding the skills over here but also you are going to be able to do summons regarding the artifacts and the fairy as i just mentioned now you're going to have these green gemstones over here definitely use them as fast as you can in order for you to summon the things that you need not that hard of a game guys give this game a try don't forget about the buffs uh, that are going to be helpful over here and you are going to be able to use the wood whenever you're going to cut his nose you are going to be able to use the wood over here in order for you to uh, have extra extra benefits from the shop so don't forget and also you can convert it in order for you to get extra extra benefits that you are going to be using late, uh, later in this game guys until next time take care and be safe bye